Hello YouTube, Shizny Gaming here. Today I'm making a video about, uh, well, pretty much about that Skyrim video I made the other day, right? I made a video, and, uh, basically I, just, I was just walking around in Skyrim, I was killing everything on my walk, so I decided to record it, right? It's all good and dandy, and I was making some, you know, really cool, really long range, I guess you could call them skill shots or trick shots, but, well, not really trick shots, just more skill shots. Anyways, the thing is, I actually had to make a little bit of an edit to uh, one of my configuration settings in order to do that. See, the thing is, with recent with a recent update, uh, they basically nerfed how far you can you know kill things. Some might see this as a balancing trick, so you know to help make sure that archers aren't overly powerful. Some might see it as a way of uh, or as a problem, right? If if you're a marksman, you know you use your distancing to you know gain advantage over higher level enemies. Just as a stealth might, you know, sneak past his enemies, or a warrior has enough armor to deal with the enemies anyway. So I thought today I'll show you how to make that edit to your save game so you can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, make long range shots with a, with a bow. What you're going to go first is you're going to go to your documents, right, or your libraries. Uh, I'm on Windows 7. Documents. You're going to go scroll down to... Sorry, I lied. Forget what I just said. Local disk C, right, your C drive. You're going to go to Program Files 86. You're going to scroll down until you find Steam. Then you're going to go down to Steam Apps, Common. And this will be all your games. Every game you own is down here. And I'm going to go ahead and find Skyrim, right? And in the Skyrim folder, you're going to find Skyrim underscore default. This is how it is for me. It might be Skyrim.ini, Skyrim default ini, whatever. It's a configuration setting, right? You should see a little text icon with the gear on it. Double click it, it'll open up in a notepad, and you get all these. Now, I've already gone and uh, added this, uh, you know, you, uh, basically this bottom part here. Actor, F visible nav mesh, distance, right? Uh, it, I actually haven't, sorry, that should be a 1. It should be 1, er, 12,288. And people are running around upstairs confusing me. Anyway, 12,288. I'm not sure what the units of measurement are in the game, or what these are, but... Basically, that's pretty much what you want to change it to. Uh, you're gonna, so you're going to, once again, add this, you know, last line here. Let's get a good look at that. Go ahead and pause the video until you've copied it down. And assuming now you've paused the video and copied it down, uh, pretty much after that, you can hit Control S to save it, close it, and in the game, you should now be able to just right off the bat start making long-range shots. Now, myself, I'm actually going to go ahead and bump this up to a 6. Uh, it's something I'm testing later, but regardless, I might just make a video on that. Thank you for watching, I hope I helped at least someone out there, and uh, stay tuned.